Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. For this one, I'm going to be giving you guys a complete beginner's tutorial on how to use Adobe Premiere Rush, Adobe's great free video editing app for creating and sharing videos online. So to start things off, let's go with their Adobe account and download their installer from this website. Now you're not going to be downloading Adobe Rush directly, but you'll be asked to download the Adobe Creative Suite in order to access Adobe Rush through their platform. So just follow the proper instructions to install Premiere Rush to your computer. As you can see, you'll have to install both Creative Cloud and Premiere Rush at the same time in order to access Premiere Rush. So go ahead and follow the setup procedures to install Adobe Premiere Rush to your computer. Feel free to skip some of these questions by the way, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I did to install this Adobe Creative Cloud program. Now once that's all done, we now have the Adobe Creative Cloud desktop suite installed. And from here, we can access a whole slew of different Adobe applications. For now though, we just want to focus on Rush, which is a really awesome video editing platform tool that they use. So as you can see, we have all these applications on the Creative Cloud suite, and we can see that Premiere Rush is now installed under these list of applications. So go ahead and click on Premiere Rush to run it. Now, as you can see, we have the Adobe Rush dashboard. From here, we can import the videos that we wish to edit directly to the Adobe Rush suite. So for example, let's edit this CSGO gameplay footage that I have. All we have to do is choose the file on our computer, upload it to Adobe Rush, and then click on Create, and let Adobe do its work to prepare this media for editing. As you can see, we have a very simple but very robust and effective video editor here. We can change the aspect ratio by clicking on this icon on the lower right corner of the editing screen. As you can see, we can change it to be a widescreen, landscape, portrait, or whatever else aspect ratio that we need. Next, let's talk about trimming this video. What we can do is click on the edges of the video in order to drag to reduce or extend the video clip that we're making. Remember, we can click on this blue icon to choose the exact keyframe that we wish to have displayed on our video editor. Now let's talk about splitting the clips. Simply click on the scissors icon on the left hand side, and then click on the portion of the video where you wish to split the clip. For example, we want to make a highlight reel, so we just want to highlight the sick plays that we're doing on our gameplay video. So simply choose the portion of the clip we want to cut out. Let's snip the, use the snip tool to cut it out and drag the edges of the newly snipped area to create a better flowing highlight. Next, let's talk about transitions and effects. On the upper right corner is where you'll see the options to see the different transitions and effects available to us on Adobe Premiere Rush. If we wish to add a transition, all we have to do is drag and drop the transition that we wish to use in between two clips. So for example, let's look at these two clips that we've already split. Let's simply drag the transition until it's in between both those clips. We can even set the duration for the transition. And as you can see, we can see in the video preview that our transition is beautifully integrated to the clip of our choice. And also with anything Adobe, there are a whole slew of different editing options to choose from. On the right hand side, by clicking on this icon, we can change the filter or the effect of the entire video. We can choose from anything from an azure, bleach, cinematic, etc. filter. 
What's cool is that we can split and separate all these clips and have different filters for each one. Feel free to go ahead and explore all the different filters available. If you want to go deeper into editing, aside from using these presets, we can click on Edit and see a whole slew of different image editing features. We can change the exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, temperature, color, etc. This video editor is really robust in all the different ways that we can edit our video. So go ahead and explore all the different presets and look at all the different editing options at our fingertips. Now the next thing that we could tackle are graphics options that we can add to our video clips. Here, we can add certain elements, whether they're animated or still, and have them on top of our video playing in the background. We can select each element on the graphics that we're adding, change the color, and even change specific elements on said simple graphic. We can change the font style, the font itself, change the line spacing, etc. If you look at the keyframe on the lower part, we can also split this and edit this as we wish. We can even add even more elements and graphics to be played on top of all our other videos. Whenever we want to change or edit certain elements on the graphics that we're adding, it'll always be on the right hand side where we can view the element and change the different certain settings. Next up, we can also add audio to our video that we're editing. On the right hand side, we can choose the audio button in order to upload and choose the audio clips that we wish to be running in the background for our video. We can edit the volume of the audio file that we're adding to the video and even see a list on the keyframe timeline below to see where our audio file is placed. And like all the other elements of the video that we're editing, we can simply use the scissors icon to clip the audio file and really make it timed with everything we want on our video. Now those are just the basics of using all the different features that Adobe Rush has for us. In this video, we've learned how to add video clips, cut them, split them, and rearrange them, and even resize the video clip duration itself. We've added a transition, and even added our own custom graphics to be displayed on top of our video. And we can even add our own audio clips to add more personality and customization for our videos. Now, once we're happy with all the settings that we've changed, we can click on the share icon on the upper left corner. And from there, we can save and export our video anywhere on our computer for our use. And that's really all there is to using this extremely easy to use video editor, Adobe Rush. If you guys have any other questions or inquiries regarding the steps I've shown you today, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one. So yet again, thank you so much for watching guys and we'll definitely see you all in the next one.